color coding of I.O. and paths in Pro Tools makes it easier to identify where tracks are routed across your mix. This can be especially useful in larger mixes with multiple stems and complex routing structures. Colors are configured in the I.O. setup window and appear in the I.O., Object, Send and Insert plates in the Mix and Edit windows. You can assign colors to inputs, outputs, buses, Atmos renderer paths and hardware inserts. For example, you could set your main monitor output to blue and your dialog reverb bus to purple. In the mixer, you'll see these colors used to identify outputs and sends that use these paths. Notice how easy it is to see at a glance which reverb return track is being fed by these sends. When an output or send routes to multiple paths, all the path colors will be displayed as bands on the routing plate. The saturation of I.O. color indicators can be set in the Tracks tab of the color palette. If we open the bus page in I.O. setup again, notice that the bus that's mapped to the monitoring output has taken the same color as the output. Paths inherit the colors in several ways if their color is set to default. This is overridden if they're manually assigned a color or set to none. Buses inherit the color of outputs they're mapped to. In Dolby Atmos mixes, renderer paths will take their color from Atmos groups they belong to. Group colors are assigned in the Bed Object Group Manager. When working with an external renderer, outputs will inherit the color from the renderer paths they're mapped to. In this example, with buses and renderer groups color-coded, it's easy to trace how these footstep tracks route to a Foley stem and then onto a global effects bed in the renderer. Color coding of mixer paths, outputs and Atmos groups gives you an at-a-glance awareness of routing, helping you to manage complex mixes.